Hey guys, today we are going to review ratios, rates, and proportions. So let's start with ratios. A ratio is a comparison of two numbers, and there's three different ways to write ratios. Three colon four, which reads as three to four, and then as a fraction, three over four. So let's start with the first one. It says a t-shirt company offered mystery bags containing six t-shirts. A shopper bought three mystery bags and found that six of the t-shirts were long sleeved. Based on this information, what is the ratio of long sleeve shirts to total shirts in one grab bag? So let's look at what the shopper bought. The shopper bought three mystery bags. And there are six t-shirts in each bag. So the shopper bought three bags with six shirts each. That means they got 18 shirts total. And out of those 18 shirts, they found that six of the shirts were long sleeve. So six out of the 18 were long sleeve. So there's the ratio, but I can simplify that. Six and 18 are both divisible by six. Six divided by six is one, 18 divided by six is three. So the ratio of long sleeve shirts to total shirts in one grab back was one to three. Okay, let's look at number two. 18 out of 27 teenagers prefer YouTube. What is the ratio of teenagers who do not prefer YouTube to those who do? So they told us that 18 out of the 27 do prefer YouTube. So there's 18 that prefer YouTube. I need to figure out how many teenagers do not prefer YouTube by doing the total, which was 27, minus those who preferred YouTube, which was 18, and I get nine. And now that I have these two numbers, I can write my ratio. What is the ratio of teenagers who do not prefer YouTube, that was nine, to those who do, which is 18. And these numbers are both divisible by nine, so I can simplify this ratio by dividing by nine. And I get one out of two. Okay, now we're gonna look at proportions. So proportions are two ratios set equal to each other like this, and usually a part of them is missing. A proportion can be solved by determining the multiplication or division relationship between the two ratios or with cross multiplication. So for example, on this one right here, I can see that from four to eight, I would multiply by two, from three to x, I would do the same thing, multiply by two and three times two is six, that means x equals six. So you can solve proportions with the relationship like that or you can also cross multiply. So on number three, it wants me to solve this proportion. I have four over five equals x over 25. I can easily see that five times five would get me to 25. So if I do four times five, that will tell me what X is, and X is 20. Okay, let's look at number four. It says Tasty Sweets has a baker to manager ratio of 11 to three. The total number of bakers and managers is 21. How many bakers does Tasty Sweets employ? So we are talking about the number of bakers that Tasty Sweets has, and they have 21 bakers and managers total. So I want to do a ratio with the bakers out of the total since that's what I'm working off of and trying to find. So they told us that they have a baker to manager ratio of 11 to three. So they have 11 bakers for every three managers. So the total of that would be 14. 11 out of 14 of those employees would be bakers. And then we can set that equal to, we don't know how many out of the 21 are bakers. So there's our proportion. I can't easily think of a, um, 
relationship between 14 and 21. So I'm gonna go ahead and solve this one with cross multiplication. So I need to do 11 times 21, and then I'll set it equal to 14 times x. So I need to do 11 times 21 first. And I get 231 equals 14 x and then the last step is 2 divide by 14 and now I'm going to do 231 divided by 14 And I get that x equals 16.5. So they have 16 full-time workers and it looks like one half-time worker. Okay, let's talk about unit rate. So this is the rate for one of something. So you will set up a proportion and the second part of proportion, you'll be finding something out of one. So number five says Tara pays $14.40 for 3.2 pounds of watermelon. What is the price per pound of the watermelon? So she paid, we know that she paid $14.40 for a certain number of pounds of watermelon. So that's how we'll set up our proportion. She paid $14.40 for 3.2 pounds and we want to know what the price of one pound is. So now I can cross multiply here to solve. One times 1440 is just 1440. And then 3.2 times x is 3.2x. And then I would divide by 3.2. So now I'm going to do 1440 divided by 3.2. And we get 450 for the price of a pound of watermelon. Okay, let's look at number six. It says a construction worker uses 960 fence posts to build 600 feet of fencing. At this rate, how many fence posts are needed to make one foot of fencing? So they told us the number of posts it took for a certain number of feet. So that's how we'll set up our ratios. It was 960 posts for 600 feet of fencing, and I want to know how many posts it's going to take for that one foot of fencing. So before I solve this, 960 over 600, those are both divisible by 30. I'm gonna simplify this as much as I can first. And 960 divided by 30 is at 32. And 600 divided by 30 is 20. And then those both can still be simplified more because those are both divisible by 4. So 32 divided by 4 is 8. 20 divided by 4 is 5. So I get 8 fifths equals x over 1. And now I can solve or now I can solve this with cross multiplication and it'll be easier since I have smaller numbers. So eight times one is eight and then X times five is five. So I need to do eight divided by five to figure out how many fence posts it takes to make one foot of fencing. So 
So it'll take 1.6 fence posts for one foot of fencing. Okay, last thing that we are gonna do is measurement conversion. So a measurement can be converted with a proportion to represent a equal amount with a different unit of measure. So we're gonna do the same thing we've been doing, set up a proportion and solve it by finding the relationship or using cross multiplication. So number seven says, how many feet are in 12 yards? Well, we know that one yard is equivalent to three feet. So we're gonna set up our proportion as three feet over one yard equals, we don't know how many feet are in 21 yards. So here's the proportion without the labels, three over one equals X over 21. And I can solve this by cross multiplying, three times 21 is 63. 1 times x is just x. So that means that there are 63 feet in 21 yards. All right, last one, number 8, says 1 mile is about 1.6 kilometers. If Jimmy is 12 miles away from the school, how many kilometers is this? So you can see I use the information to set up my proportion there. And now I'm going to write this without the labels, one over 1.6 equals 12 over X, and I'm gonna solve this using cross multiplication. So one times X is X, and 1.6 times 12 is 19.2. So how many kilometers away is that? It would be 19.2 kilometers.